72 hours, goddamn, I'm feeling amazing. Damn, I'm in the matrix. My mind is looking on cloud nine, and this nine is never on vacation. All right, what is going on, people? It is your boy Chogan White here again today with episode 18 of the My Manager Career Mode for Juventus. And today, we're home against Slavonia, not Serbia. I made a mistake yesterday when I was making my thumbnail. I actually put Serbia's logo, and I just realized when I was about to start the match, it's Slavonia. So I had to redo the thumbnail, but it's all good. It's Slavonia. Sorry for my mistake. If there's any viewers from that country, if I offended you, I didn't mean it. So yeah, so today, we are still with international duty and this is our last match for now with Germany and after that we're going back to the league with Juventus episode 19 which will be tomorrow and we are going up against Hellas Verona so watch out for that so yeah guys let's just get into this match and see uh, where we go from there so uh, pretty much uh, today today I went to church I woke up you know to church I did my altar server duty and all that and you know today was a normal day really and uh, I I really want to stream today you know sorry if I didn't stream yesterday yesterday uh, my cousins told me to go watch the Conor McGregor and Nate Diaz fight um, I know a lot of you will hate on me for this but I really wanted Conor McGregor to win and in my in my opinion he fucked up Nate Diaz bro that nigga couldn't see for his life yo I'm sorry for all you guys if you like Nate Diaz, bro, but in my opinion, Conor McGregor fucked them up those first few rounds. And I, I think in the first and second round, he, Nate Diaz fell a total of three times on the floor. So yeah, I think the reason why uh, Nate Diaz actually lost that fight in a unanimous decision is because he was focusing on putting Conor McGregor on the ground, which is how he beat him last time. And Conor McGregor learned from his mistakes not to let him put him on the ground. So I think that's the reason he that's like the reason that he like lost and all that I feel like Nate Diaz could have done a lot more damage He's a really strong fighter and everything the only thing that I was mad about Conor McGregor is that he was running away a lot a lot a lot He was just walking away and everything and I don't think he should have been doing that And I just had a feeling the way like he was walking and he was looking backwards He wasn't looking back. I mean like he was looking like away from the idea So I had a feeling that one of like one of those signs that he was doing it He was just gonna turn around and ideas was just gonna knock him out. I was getting so scared, bro But like Nate Diaz had some momentum swings, but in the end uh, Conor McGregor actually dominated in my opinion So yeah, um I'm just sorry, you know a lot of people are not gonna like me for that. I just like uh, Conor McGregor more I feel like he has a better personality and I feel like uh Nate Diaz is just a trash talker, you know, so yeah, um, in other news, uh, I was like, before I was making this video, I was actually watching the Atletico Madrid game versus Alaves, as you know, La Liga just started, and I'm really surprised as of, I'm watching, because as of me watching and what I saw, uh, Atletico Madrid was tied, and it was like the 60th minute when I stopped watching, and I was like, what the hell's going on with them, and I couldn't believe it and everything, so I was like, if you don't know, Alaves is a team that came from La Liga 2. They got promotion. They won the league. So, yeah, they deserve to be in the spot where they are. So, I was surprised that Atletico Madrid, a uh, top 3, top 2 team, couldn't take them down as of so far. But, yeah, uh, Barcelona ended up winning 6-2 yesterday against Real Betis. And uh, I think I said that in my, in my video yesterday. I'm not sure. And then uh, Real Madrid actually won today as well. So, yeah. Those two teams uh, started off with really well in the league. I don't know about Atletico, man. Atletico, I think, are going to tie today 0-0. And if they do, that would be really, really disappointing. And it will be a uh, upset, in my opinion. It will be uh, embarrassing, especially because they're home. They're home in uh, Vicente Calderon. So, yeah. That's kind of disappointing. Oh! Bellarabi, what a freaking goal. Oh my god, he smashed it. Did you guys see that? Shit. Bro, he fucking smashed it. Damn, that was a fucking nice goal. Uh, so yeah. On the other note, besides that fucking sexy ass goal, um, I'm not sure. I don't know if I'm gonna do Blacklight. I don't know, GTA, Call of Duty, something like that. Just, um, I don't know. And as well, um, I woke up today and I was like, hmm. You know, I all I'm posting right now is FIFA, so I want to think of something new, a new series I could do or something like that. 
So I was thinking to myself, that is not FIFA. And um, maybe I'm thinking of doing a, like something along the lines of a tournament or something. Like, uh, on like freaking, I don't know, I don't know, just something like a tournament where there's elimination process and everything. And uh, you start off in groups and then you go into finals and all that. I don't know, I'm thinking of doing that. And uh, maybe that would be fun to do on my channel. And hopefully you guys would enjoy that kind of idea and those kind of videos. So yeah, I th I'm thinking about that. But all I know is that today I'm going to stream. Absolutely. I have nothing else that might take uh, take that I like time of me streaming and everything away from me. So I will be streaming. I'm thinking I'm going to be streaming late. But I'm going to be streaming maybe from like 10, 9 around there. All the way to like one in the morning so yeah um i'm definitely look out for that i i'm absolutely 100 percent streaming today and uh hopefully it'll go good and you guys will watch it and everything enjoy it so yeah so we're coming into halftime in this match we are winning 1-0 against slovania so that's good we are home remember in germany so i will i will not allow us to uh, tie or lose or anything. I am going to get this win for our uh, our German fans out there. So yeah. Uh, in terms of news, I really don't have anything else to talk about. You know, I really. Whoa! What the fuck? Yo, I've never seen that menu before. Yo, that's dope. I like that menu. Like where you could like choose to like substitute someone or anything like that. That's awesome. I didn't even mean to substitute anyone, but hopefully I didn't. I didn't do anything wrong. But yeah. Um, I really don't have anything else to talk about. What the fuck is this dude doing? Is he high or something? But yeah, um, actually I want to say one more thing. I want to congratulate my boy Ellie. He just like passed 30, like 30 subscribers and now he's at 38. So if you haven't subscribed to my boy Ellie, please subscribe to him. Help him get to that big 50, man. And I think he really deserves it. He just came back from vacation. That's why he wasn't posting for a long time. But now he's posting again. I think he's live streaming. Or he was live streaming GTA. So if you haven't checked out his videos please for me. Uh, it would really be helpful. It's in my uh, in my dashboard. You can see his channel also as well. Check my other friends. John and Kevin out. And also Wumbo Gaming. All my friends just check out the channels. You know it would be really helpful if you could. And everything. So yeah. And I'm uh, sorry if you hear all that noise, man. I always have an ambulance pass by my street all the time, every single day. I feel like because I'm, like, in between Trinitas and everything, so I don't know why. But, yeah, that's kind of annoying. Uh, I don't know why that always happens whenever I make a video. Like, always there's a lot of noise. Like, yesterday it was the same. Like, it was a big motorcycle just, boom, like, booming. And it just made a bunch of noise, man. And it just, like, destroyed, like, the audio. And, uh, yeah, but, that always happens whenever I'm here, but, um, when I'm at my grandma's making videos, man, it's so quiet and peaceful. That street, barely any cars, I would say, maybe max, like, a hundred cars pass by every single day. So, yeah, that's not really a lot. But, yeah, uh, it looks right, like right now we're holding down against, uh, Slovenia, uh, but they are trying to score and they're attacking, attacking a lot, so, I'm scared. Oh, oh shit all right all right let me get focused let me get focused because they are going to score if we do not uh score again so how it is what the fuck bro i passed that shit what the hell all right shirley yo get the fucking ball you fag good shit all right Oh, you fucking retard. Stop it. Oh, uh, actually, uh, I just uh, reminded myself. Today I went to the supermarket. And uh, I went to the supermarket near me as a Dollar General. And it was, uh, we went there to get uh, paper towels for the kitchen, right? With my mom. And uh, when I was there, we were in the line to pay. And like the counters are right by the entrance and the exit, right? So one of these kids, he comes in and my mom instantly probably knew that he was Cuban because he has a face of Cuban as well. He had a New York Mets shirt with uh, Cespedes, Yoni Cespedes, number 52 for the Mets. He's Cuban, so I was like, this kid has to be Cuban. No way he isn't. He's had the face. And um, he, he was only speaking Spanish, so not that that means that he's not from here or anything. 
but like he just didn't look like a type of person that could speak English fluently or could speak it at all so uh, he's probably just visiting from Cuba and when he walked in this is where it gets weird when he walked into the store he walked through the sliding doors and like I instantly saw like he had a surprised face or something like that and I was like what the hell is this kid doing so and then he, his mom is calling him over to go uh, to walk around the store and everything to buy whatever they had to buy and then the kid like kept on walking back and forth to see like when the door open and door close and he was like he had like a frightened face you know like w kind of like the face when you're about to go up a roller coaster man and you know it's not gonna end well for like for like you <laughs> and you're just nervous as hell and like you have that face man like you're not you don't feel safe and, and the kid like he didn't feel safe I think he just kept on looking back and he was so confused he kept on walking back and forth and everything so yeah, that was kind of weird, but it's the 90th minute, and uh, I think we're going to run away with this win unless they score a freaking, like, 90th minute header from the corner. Please don't, please don't, please don't. I'm praying to God if they do. Damn, a second guy was injured? What the fuck? Please don't, Neuer. <sighs> Hold the fucking ball. Kick that shit out of there. That's it, guys. We take the win 1-0. Not really securely, but we still take the win. Uh, we're at 2 out of 2 for Germany. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the My Manager Career Mode for Juventus. Next episode will be coming out tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, guys, and peace.